Tonight, we look into emails between Fresno County officials and the operators of an illegal medical lab operating in Reedley. Those emails show just how tough it was to get an order to shut it down for good. CBS 47's Juanita Adame joins us live in studio with the details. Juanita. Well, Catherine, there are hundreds of emails in court documents. Now, we're focusing on communication between the Fresno County Health Department and the operators of the illegal lab. The emails show the county tried hard for specific information, and they got nowhere. Fresno County health officials say getting a warrant to enter the Reedley lab was time consuming and frustrating. It took them months and according to these email exchanges provided in court documents, Universal Meditech and Prestige Biotech went out of their way to put up obstacles. On May 31st, the county made a request for permits and information on how the company planned to get rid of hazardous waste. A person identified only as David He responded with the plan to transfer all the waste from the Reedley location to 3900 East Blatella in Fresno. The company rep claiming they would be done moving everything by June 20th. The county then responded to the lab operator saying that was not an option, that they would need the required documents within seven working days and asked for more specific details. Universal Meditech stonewalled the county again, saying they needed more time and more information. Then the company flat out denied the existence of any infectious agents on the property. Finally, on June 13th, county officials stated the company was refusing to cooperate and they would move forward with shutting them down. In a Reedley City Council meeting held Tuesday night, residents still in shock and disbelief about the entire situation. Some clearly upset with the way the city has handled the situation. Now, Ziba said yesterday that neither city or county officials could comment on the lab finding because they were advised by the FBI not to. In the studio, Juanita Adamas, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.